Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you some more fun grip to help you hang your lights, hang your camera, and do all kinds of stuff. So, getting a lot of DMs, getting a lot of positive feedback on these, so I'm doing another video. So, here I am in my studio, digging through my drawer of crazy stuff, which you build up over time the longer you do this, um, and pulling out some fun tools for you guys. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you is from Lowell. It's kind of cool. Um, they make them in a couple different sizes. I just have the small one with me here. Um, it's basically a, uh, an A-clamp, right? So it's an A-clamp, but it's got a stud on it. So this stud is gonna allow me, it's 5 8 baby, right? So it's gonna allow me to put a light, a lightweight light. Um, it's gonna allow me to put uh, adapters on there if I wanna hang other things on there. Um, they do make two different sizes. Um, and also for those of DIY people out there, you can actually, most uh, A-clamps have a hole here anyway, so you could actually thread through your own um, through your own stud. Um, the thing is though, I kind of priced it out and to buy a stud with the quarter 20 female and then buy a thing and do it, it's actually not any cheaper. So unless you're in a pinch and you need to do it, you might as well just buy the ready-made one. Uh, I'll put a link to these in the description. Have you guys seen these before? Uh, because I feel like every time I show these to somebody, um, they're like, oh, that's cool. Like they've never seen it before. So let me know if you've seen these before in the comments. Um, that's from Lowell. Uh, so something that we've talked about in the past, um, super clamps, uh, this here uh, works with, with super clamp. So now this is an articulating arm. It's a more of a uh, kind of a flexy one. Uh, they make different ones. They make heavyweight, lightweight. They make different lengths. Um, it is for a super clamp, like I said, because it has the uh, hexagon uh, at, the, at the bottom. Um, these aren't super, super stiff like a magic arm would be, which I guess we'll cover magic arms another time. Um, but they are good for maneuvering things in certain spaces. Um, they're pretty cool to keep around. A flexible arm, uh, useful. You know, quarter 20 on one end, 5 eighths, easy to hang stuff um, like that. Something else from Lowell, which I think is really cool, which again is one of those things I don't think people know that much about. This is the Lobo. So the Lobo is, um, I guess this is technically the Lobo clamp, um, although it says low Lobo on it, so we'll call it a Lobo clamp. Um, what it is is, it's basically this funky little clamp. You can put it kind of on things. So um, I typically, you can stick it on like a light stand, you know, whatever, like let's say that's your light stand. And then it has a second part to it that you can stick things through. Actually, there's a skinny part here too. So this is the Lobo arm. So what you can do with this effectively is we can take, uh, if we have a light stand, let's say, we can put below our, our lighting fixture uh, on the light stand, this arm, and then articulate it up and put something in front of the light, like a cookie or a silk or whatever. This is gonna allow us to only use one light stand, which is gonna give us a smaller footprint, which is gonna just be super, super useful. Um, it also has, uh, like I say, a skinnier part at the bottom, which you can use for umbrellas. Um, I've used these to put big seven foot umbrellas on a C stand if I want to put something behind it or do things like that. So uh, Lobo, I've never seen anything like this from anybody else. So this you got to get from Lowell. I'll put a, a, a link, but uh, Lobo, pretty useful um, to have around. Uh, something that is kind of made by a lot of people, but I believe the original one came from um, Infrodo, uh, is a camera support. So this basically has two five eighths, uh, this particular one has two five eighth uh, females. So you can mount it onto stands or onto clamps or whatever. It then has a, a quarter 20 screw here, which is basically your camera screw, right? So now I can place a camera on a stand or more commonly for me on a clamp uh, to do like a time lapse or to put a camera somewhere if I wanna do like an overhead shot or those kind of things. We've talked about that before. You wanna mount your camera somewhere. Um, I think they first started selling these with uh, magic arms, which uh, again, I'll probably have to do another video on magic arms. They're kind of like a more stiff, stiff version of that. Um, and the first time I ever used one was uh, on a magic arm with a super clamp uh, on the top of a ladder outside because I needed to get a, co a cool overhead shot and there was no tripod that was 12 feet tall uh, and I didn't have the budget for scaffolding. So it was a good way for me to, to do it. It worked. Um, and ever since then, I keep these around. You can also uh, modify because it's quarter 20. I could put a lot of things on here. You could put a speed light on there too if you really wanted to. So really useful um, camera support. Um, finally, speaking of speed lights, um, if you guys don't have these already, these are pretty common, I think, people that use speed lights, but if you've got a speed light and you've only ever used it on your camera and you want to take it off camera, this is the most basic way to do it. This is a uh, umbrella adapter or swivel adapter. Um, basically, it's got a shoe on top that you can put your speed light or small flash. You've got a space in the middle here for an umbrella, of course, and then, of course, 5 eighths female at the bottom so you can mount it onto things like stands or like this clamp. You know, if I want to put a speed light, let's say on a door frame, right? I can basically take these two together, put this into here, tighten this down, 
you know, now I'm able to uh, clamp this with my speed light, which I can then articulate and put wherever I want, right on a door frame or a shelf. I use that a lot on shelves, actually. Um, you do it a portrait of somebody in a small room, you know, a lot of space, throw it up on a shelf, you're good to go, the back of a chair. Um, anything can be a light stand if you need it to be, you know, when you have this kind of stuff. So this one's from Fotec. I like this version. It's small. Um, it is, uh, you can hear it crack and clack. It's got little, you know, uh, so it's not gonna move. It's really strong, it's metal. Um, you can get these really cheap plastic ones. You can get really sophisticated ones. Shamira makes one that's like a multi-level that goes in different directions, which is pretty awesome. Um, but this is a good basic one. It's not crazy expensive. If, you're, if you don't have one, uh, this is the one I'd recommend by Fotec. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you know, how many of you guys use this kind of stuff? Do you use uh, speed lights? And if so, how do you hang them? Do you do it like this or do you do it with the, uh, I mean, actually the thing that comes with your speed light, right? You could, uh, the, the, they usually come with a shoe. You could put it right on there. So there's lots of different ways to do it. Um, there's lots of different grip out there. That's actually one of the fun parts about photography for me is all the different cool little grip and stuff. So um, I'm going to continue to do these videos as long as you guys want to see them. So let me know in the comments if you've used this stuff, if you like this stuff, if you want to see something else. Um, do you want to see more of these? Uh, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.